Hi everyone. So um, we're going to carry on talking about um, the different ingredients that we see in skincare products. Um, and when we talk about um, anti-aging or photo-aging, however you want to refer to it, you'll often hear um, skincare experts talking about the ABC of skincare. And so basically that is vitamin A, vitamin B3 and vitamin C. So today we're going to talk about vitamin A, which is otherwise known as um, retinoids. So retinoids can become a little bit confusing because you've got many different versions of retinoids. Retinoids is basically the sort of umbrella name given to this family of vitamin A products. Um, so the main product being retinoic acid. This is the active ingredient within vitamin A, the active acid um, that has its desired effect, if you like, on the skin. Um, and the prescription version of this is known as tretinoin. That might be familiar to you. Um, or the brand name is Retin-A. So this is the most potent version of a retinoid. Um, and it was originally used for clients who had severe to moderate to severe acne. And it would work by sort of increasing the turnover of um, skin cells. So actively unclogging um, acne prone skin. And during some sort of early studies, it was proven that actually it helped with anti-aging effects as well. So it's since become a bit of a, they call it the superhero of anti-aging skincare. So we now have um, retinoids available over the counter. Um, retinol being one of the most common available, and that's what you'll usually see on the front of some of your sort of night anti-aging skincare. And retinol works by speeding up skin cell turnover. So it helps to unclog pores, as we mentioned um, in acne. It can also help sort of lift pigmentation and dark um, sort of sun damage spots in the skin. Um, it will also brighten the skin um, because it's revealing nice, new, fresh um, skin cells from underneath much more quickly than your skin would do naturally. It also has some collagen stimulating um, properties as well. Um, so it will plump up the dermis and thereby sort of reduce those fine lines and wrinkles. However, there is a downside to all of this because sometimes it can be quite irritating to the skin. So not everybody can tolerate this and it can cause some photosensitivity. So you have to be really careful um, after you've applied your retinol that, it's, um, that your skin is protected from the sun. So you must be really, really vigilant with your SPF. So for that reason, we usually recommend that um, retinol products are applied at night um, where, where they work um, overnight to help sort of regenerate and renew skin cells um, but it, you must use your SPF the next morning. So it can cause some irritation so not everybody can tolerate this and usually what you would have to do is sort of back off it a little bit and maybe only apply it once or twice a week um, and then sort of increase the amount of time you use it or you can sandwich it um, between moisturisers. So apply a little bit of moisturiser first, then your retinol, then some more moisturiser over the top. Um, and that, that way it just takes a little bit longer for it to sort of take effect within the skin. So there's also different percentages of the ingredient within different products. Um, so anything that's sort of 0.1% is going to be quite weak. Um, and take a long time to sort of show any effects. And I think 1% is, is the maximum allowed. So retinol isn't suitable for anybody that's pregnant, anybody that has um, eczema on their face, um, and anybody that has super sensitive skin or um, a sort of full blown rosacea. Other retinoid ingredients that you might come across are something called retinaldehyde, which converts to retinoic acid um, much more quickly than retinol does in the skin, um, but it's actually less irritating. However, it can be less stable to store. Retinyl retinoate is um, a Korean um, sort of lead formulation, um, which combines retinol and retinoic acid. Um, which does make it more stable um, and is sort of seen as the king of over-the-counter retinoids. Um, but because of that, and because there are quite a lot of studies proving its um, worth, um, it's quite expensive. 
And then there's retinal palmitate, which actually takes three steps to convert it to retinoic acid within the skin. Um, so it's less potent, if you like. So it's going to take longer to see any results. Um, but it might be suitable for somebody that doesn't tolerate retinol very easily. So you still get the sort of long term benefits um, if you stick with it. Um, it. But it's just milder and sort of less irritating. So please just remember to protect your skin from the sun. Um, and also just to hold off any retinol products if you're going to come and see us for um, some of the advanced facial treatments that we do. Um, I hope that was helpful. Um, we're going to do vitamin B3 or niacinamide next, so watch out for that one.